Hi, this is Harish Bali from Technofair.com. After having tried many video players on my Android device, I have settled down on MX Video Player. To download the same, go to Play Store and look for MX Video Player. I have already downloaded the same. It's produced by J2 Interactive. Download and install the same. After installation, when you will open the video, you will see various folders that will have all the videos that are on your Android device. Automatic detection of videos and rearrangement into folders is a good thing that this app does. It supports almost all major movie formats like 3GP, AVI, FLV, MP4, WAB, MOV, etc. It has many rich features. I will open a video to share some of the rich features. Play. One of the feature you have just noticed is that it's asking whether you want to resume watching or start over again because I left this video yesterday night. So let me start this over again. This is your device. You can adjust the screen through bottom right, stretch, crop, 100% screen and back to fit to screen. While watching the movie, if I miss a dialogue, I simply need to run my finger from right to left. I am doing, doing it currently back to 2 seconds and then on the other side if you want to move forward. Using this app, you can change the audio format dynamically. This is useful especially when you are watching a dual audio format movie. You can do that from this top right. Choose the language and play. You can enjoy the movie with subtitles from this particular option. Choose subtitles if you have got them. While watching the movie, you can increase or decrease brightness like this and down to decrease the brightness. To decrease volume, swipe your finger from top to bottom like this from the right hand side and to increase it, run it upwards on the screen. Some of the video formats don't offer seamless lip sync with audio across devices. Then for such formats, MX Player offers SW Decoder option. Most of the videos would support HW Decoder which is the default. I have experienced that using this SW Decoder, I can increase the volume of the clip and of course a better lip sync using this option. If I use SW Decoder, I can increase the volume of the clip like this, almost to double level. Only flip side of using SW Decoder is that it puts strain on the battery. Let's go back, back again. Let's explore some of the menu options from the top right. Network stream. You can use this if you are watching a video clip on a web browser. View. How do you want to arrange your videos? Sort them. Back. Select. You can share the video clip. Rename it. Delete it. Or mark it as seen. Settings allows making changes in the player, decoder, audio, subtitles, settings etc. I would suggest you to make changes if you are really sure about the change that you are making. Last but not the least, search button on the top right. I have a video that starts with password. Go. Here's the click. Password on folder in Mac. Well, that was about MX video player. I really find it useful. I use it almost daily. If you use it once, I am sure you are going to make it your preferred video player. If you found this tutorial interesting, do give it a thumbs up. Also watch other interesting videos by clicking on the links appearing in front of your screen. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.